Okay, to start this project, remember you're coming up to the new button right here, or you go to File, and New there. And then when we start it, we're going to use the standard IPT. And we're, we start off this project, what we're going to do is come up here to the upper left-hand corner and do Start 2D Sketch. And we're going to pick the XY plane, which is the front view. And we always start drawing at the origin. And what I like to do is since our limitations say that we can't make it more than two and a half inches by two and a half inches, I just start with a two and a half line going up by clicking on the origin and going up. I zoom out using my uh, mouse scroll wheel. I go to the right and you can see when I go to the right, I see how the line locks in perpendicular and you can see the little symbol to the right of my cursor and I just type 2.5 again. I go down and I close the box off. So I know my keychain has to fit in there. And I always like to um, make that box. It doesn't need to be this shape, but I know my shape needs to fit in this box to uh, meet my uh, limitations of this project. So you can make any shape you want. You could use a circle. You could just simply draw some lines like so, whatever your little heart desires. But we need to make sure it's a closed profile meaning that there's no gaps in our line around. So if I took some of those away, I could use the arc command and do start end and control it that way. All right, it just needs to be completely closed. There's also some other things around here. We have the spline tool. All right, there's different ways to draw arcs, different ways to draw circles. So whatever. So when I finish, I'm going to finish this sketch, and now I have this profile that I can extrude, which is going to give it me that third dimension, my depth dimension. So I hit extrude up here after I hit the finish sketch. I select the profile. I click on it, and it's going to shoot out. Now yours may look like this. Just click on the arrow, and the entire size of uh, our depth could be 0.5. So I'm going to start off with 1 8 or 0.125, and I kind of made a base. Now what you can do is if you want to build up on this, I could do start sketch. I pick a, a an edge to draw on. I'm going to pick this front face. And if you wanted to, you could kind of freehand draw something where I could even take, I could project the geometry of this outer edge. I could maybe offset that in. I could even make some shapes. Oh, a little too fast. I could maybe make some shapes this way. Whatever you want. I could do text. I could write a little text in there. Because if I do that, when I do extrude, first I'm going to finish sketch. I could do extrude. I could click this profile, extrude that out an eighth. I could make it one sixteenth if I wanted it a little less. I can make it more. I can make it one quarter if I wanted it more. Uh, hit OK. And my sketch disappears. This becomes a consumed sketch. So if I go over here to my model uh, toolbar over here, I could open up this extrusion. There is my sketch. I right click, turn on my visibility, and now it comes back. And let's see, I could extrude this. and. Instead of having that come out, I could have it go in, and I could have it go through the whole thing. And now, I could accept that if I turn off this visibility. Oh, let's try that again. Let's see. I should probably should have read that nasty gram. So if I go and I extrude this and cut it. Let's just do a little bit. Let's see if it allows me to do that. Sometimes the fonts get a little weird. And at that time it worked. And so let's turn off our visibility. You could see it. It actually cut into it. So if I flip it the other way using the extrude, it'll cut it. Um, something else I could do is if I go and I do sketch, and I have an image that I found on the interwebs, and I save mine to my pictures, I just have a simple Cubs logo. I could put it right there. Obviously, it's too big. Hit escape, click, kind of click and hold and pull that corner. Size it up. All right, and now I could simply trace this. 
Uh, I could use a circle. It's kind of hard to find my center. So if I change it up and by the way, I kind of like to cheat this. If you take a line and you draw the line there, you take another line, draw a line on the edge somewhere there, do another line right there. We could use this circle tool called tangent. Oh, let's do that. Kind of got ahead of myself. Circle, click line one, line two, line three, and it creates a circle that is tangent to those three lines. And I could just go ahead and delete those. And I don't have to worry about finding that center point. But now I do have a center point so that when I make my other circles, I could snap to it and it'll be pretty darn close. And let's just do this C and then I'll call it a day. Um, this tracing, what you could trace it with what you want. Um, let's do the U2 just because I'm here. So I use the arc. I do start and I could do lines going up. And see, I'm kind of using my lines from over there. I could come back now and Fill in my arcs. You got to remember, no one's going to see your picture. So if it's not perfect, who the heck's going to know? Once again, it's a closed profile, no gaps. Uh, so let's just finish this up right here. And I'm going to be deliberately sloppy and making these straight lines because I'm going to use my trim command. Hit finish sketch. And now we could take and we could extrude. Whoop. Let's try that again. A little zoomed out for my liking. And I could just, you know, create stuff that way. Obviously, I'd finish it so I don't have the CUs. Uh, finally, if I wanted to make a hole, I like using this hole command. There's other ways to do it. So this is new. So let's just click somewhere on there. Let's make it 0.125. That's the minimum. Uh, and you could take it. And here it's selected to go through all. I could click on this thing. I could move it around. I like to keep it close to the edge, obviously. OK. And you get the idea. Pretty decent keychain, all right? If we want to do some other things to it, I could add some fillets to some edges. All right. I don't like sharp things in my pockets. Uh, I could put some chamfers on there, and you could play around with these distances to get different effects that you like. Okay, there's all sorts of things to play around with and kind of customize your keychain.